Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockeiner. Today's story is a Verizon data leak. I don't have much time. I'm Wilted Rose, and I'm building a team of highly skilled cyber operatives. We only have room for the best and the brightest. Are you up for the challenge? Let's find out. This week, we learned that Verizon had a big data leak that was due to one of their partners. A security company called UpGuard found a Amazon AWS S3 bucket, that's of course a data storage bucket, that actually had a big file that had allegedly 14 million uh, Verizon customer records in the file, although Verizon now claims it's only 6 million. Now, these records were 23 gigabytes of information, and they included things like a Verizon's customer's name, phone number, address, but most importantly, clear text pins. Pretty much all an attacker would need to actually masquerade as a Verizon customer with Verizon and potentially do things like reset passwords and things like that. As it turned out, this was not any sort of hack. Rather, this data was just freely available on this Amazon S3 bucket. Now, do know this is not a problem with public cloud security or Amazon. By default, if you create a S3 three bucket, uh, any files you put there are private. You actually have to change the permissions to make these files public. So this is purely a security configuration problem by the third party partner working with Verizon that put this data there. Really, they shouldn't have put this data there and made it public, exposed to the whole world. Now, what can we learn from this? Well, obviously, if you're a Verizon customer, you need to go change your pin right away. Uh, you can contact Verizon and see if you're one of the customers whose data has has been leaked, and really, I just recommend you change your PIN. But really, what anyone can learn from this, whether you're a Verizon customer or not, is not all security issues have to do with hackers or hacks. A lot of it is just silly misconfigurations, user mistakes, or even administrative mistakes. As you're putting your data online, make sure to have the proper permissions and only allow folks who want to see that data exposure to it. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.